There are two words in particular baseball fans have longed for for months. Play ball! The Washington Nationals didn't get the opportunity to celebrate their 2019 championship amongst a sold-out crowd, and there were no standing ovations for new faces in big markets like Garrett Cole and Mookie Betts. The players are eager to return to action, and owners want to see their product on the field. And now that the financial situation between the two parties has been resolved, the biggest issue is player safety. On opening day, it's about hope. We have hope. Major League Baseball, like other sports leagues, will have to play without crowds for the foreseeable future. Despite this new normal, there is one thing every baseball fan can get on board with. It's finally time to play ball. We are four weeks away from opening day, and here's a look at the most popular wagers to win the World Series, according to our friends at William Hill. No surprise with the Yankees and Dodgers, but how about the other three teams on this list? Oakland's pitching rotation stacked with their top rookies, both lefties A.J. Puck and Jesus Lozardo. The White Sox roster is loaded, signed guys like Yasmani Grandal, Edwin Encarnacion, and Dallas Keuchel, while also re-signing Jose Abreu. The second biggest free agent signing of the offseason after Garrett Cole was Anthony Rendon going to the Angels. He's going to have Mike Trout major protection in the lineup. Can't tell me that would be exciting, seeing the game's best player in the Fall Classic. Baseball is back, and so are our heavy hitters. Former minor leaguer and Wizard of Odds, Kenny White, and Vegas insider Todd Furman, exactly four weeks away from opening day, men. Uh, we're going to get your best division wagers in both leagues. You're picked to win the AL and NL, and then a World Series wager as, as well. We're leading off with your best division wager in the American League. Todd, set the table for us. You know, Hakeem, this season is going to provide all sorts of unique challenges, not only for the players and organizations, but handicappers, bookmakers alike. So I think there's opportunity to identify a little bit of value. And given the fact that the Yankees are overwhelming favorites to come out of the American <laughs> League, it creates an opportunity to find another team within their division. And for me, it's the Tampa Bay Rays, who arguably have the top three starters in that division if they get maximum performance out of Tyler Glenn, and of course, Charlie Morton. I look at this Rays roster, and while I have some questions about their bullpen, I like the fact that they went starter by committee last year. I think we're going to see a few unique wrinkles there. And when you look at this team offensively, they don't get enough credit for some of the young talent, whether it's Willie Adamas in the middle of the lineup, Brandon Lowe, who returned from injury, and an outfield that's filled with guys that are poised to take the next step, highlighted by Austin Meadows. At plus 380, I'm willing to take a shot with the Rays. It's not a fluke that they pushed the Astros to the brink last year, and I think they'll be able to repeat again this season. Todd, that sounded so amazing. I've been listening to Rick Gaiman and Doug Bell and, and Chip Patterson talk golf. But you know what? If somebody <laughs> threw the golf ball at you and you had to hit it, they'd call it baseball. And that's the greatest game of all. We're finally back. I'm so happy. I got my Dodger shirt on because I have them winning the most games in Major League Baseball, 37 and a half. But there's no value on that. The one value I'm going to look at is in the AL West, and it is the Los Angeles Angels. And they've got a lineup that we'll be reckoned with this year with Anthony Rendon coming over to back up Mike Trout. Oh, hey, Otani will be 100%. Uh, this lineup is going to be extremely tough. Uh, you're you're going to put up a lot of runs with that lineup this year, and they've got a decent enough pitching staff uh, to, to get enough wins here. I think the Angels are just as good as the A's and a game behind the Astros in my projected final standings right now. So plus 650. Give me Mike Trout getting a division win. Our reminder, teams are going to play 40 games against their divisional opponents, 20 games against their opposite league's geographic division, AL East, NL East, and so forth. Todd, what's your best division wager in the National League? So for me, I knew Kenny was going to be high in the Dodgers, and it's hard not to be, but I think this is a team that if they were to struggle out of the gate, that you're going to have teams in the NL West breathing right down their necks. And for me, one of the teams that's getting ignored is the Arizona Diamondbacks. This is a team that won 85 games a season ago. And while you do worry a little bit about their offense beyond Kettle Marte and Starling Marte, where they're going to go to produce enough runs to win them the adequate number of games it'll take to win the division, this is a rotation, in my opinion, one through four, that's going to give other teams fits. You go out there and you get Madison Bumgarner. We know that he is an entrenched veteran that's been through the rigors of this division before. Uh, I look at Luke Weaver who was outstanding before getting shelved last year due to injury. Robbie Ray, one of the more difficult lefties to try and hit with his strikeout potential. And an up-and-coming ace in Zach Gallen who was integral in their deal with the Marlins. 
I think this is an Arizona team. If they can get hot early and they can figure out how to get that 6th, 7th, and 8th inning to settle down before they hand it over to Archie Bradley, the Diamondbacks would be a team at plus 650, I think, can really put a threat into the Dodgers. Todd, I love, I love the Diamondbacks. Uh, right there, they were one, my one or two pick today that I was going to talk about from the West. It's going to be the Padres. You have the Dodgers winning the most games. They're a gigantic favorite. You can't lay that type of money. It's just 60 games. Anything can happen. Last year, the Washington Nationals, they don't make the playoffs if it's a 60-game season. The Padres, this is a team that I think is really loaded with a lot of young talent. Uh, Experience-wise, they're they're very low. But you know what? 60 games really doesn't matter. They don't really know what they're doing. They're just going to go out and play baseball. Fernando Tatis will jumpstart this lineup. And Manny Machado, in his second year for the Padres, should have a gigantic season. Eric Hosmer has a bigger year. But I love the pitching staff. Uh, I love the addition of Zach Davies. I think he's going to work miracles. Garrett Richards is back. Um, I think he's going to be tremendous this year, finally healthy. And then Cal Quantrill had a great year last year. They'll go to six-man rotation. I think that's perfect for this baseball team, plus 650. Give me the Padres to actually get a chance to get into the playoffs this year. All right, the favorites to win the AL pennant, Yankees at plus 180, followed by the Astros at plus 350. Todd, who's your pick? You know, this is going to kill me, and Kenny may say that I have to forfeit my handicapping card here when I'm taking the chalk in the New York Yankees. But I look at this team, and the construction of the roster, I think, is actually perfect for this type of sprint. Sure, there are questions at the top of their rotation after Garrett Cole regarding the health of Masahiro Tanaka. Let's see what you get from James Paxton, if he's going to be his self. Uh, and when you get Luis Severino, we didn't see him even close to full capacity a season ago. But what this Yankees roster has is they have tons of guys they can bring at you out of the bullpen. Geraldis Chapman there to secure the ninth inning. Tommy Canely, Zach Britton. The list goes on and on for how they'll get through those middle innings. We know this offense will be able to produce runs. And a guy who I think is an MVP in waiting, whether it's this season or in years to come, Blaybar Torres anchoring the middle of that lineup behind Aaron Judge and company. I just hope that Giancarlo Stanton can stay healthy on the field. That contract is an absolute albatross. Maybe over 60 games, he's able to stay healthy. The Yankees are my pick to win the American League. Uh, Todd, they should be the favorite. I am winning this, the second most games in baseball, the most in the American League at 35 and a half. But I'm going to go with a long shot, a team who I think is going to play a very easy schedule, and that's the Cleveland Indians, the second easiest schedule of any team in Major League Baseball. Tito Francona, the right guy for a 60-game schedule because his message never gets dull. He's always making it exciting for the players. The starting rotation, I think, is excellent. I have Cleveland's rotation in the top three with Washington and Cincinnati. Yeah. That's the top three. The Dodgers, Astros, and Tampa are the next best three pitching stats in baseball. So I'm going to look at this lineup and say Lindor, Santana, and Ramirez all bounce back and give you 2018 numbers, Hakeem. The Cleveland Indians win the American League. <laughs> yes, in Tito we trust. That's what we say in Cleveland, Kenny. So there, I'm going to get you. I'm going to I'm gonna get you a new T-shirt so you can take the Dodgers T-shirt off and get an in Tito we trust T-shirt. It's a good one. Terry Francona, Hall of Fame skipper, Hall of, Hall of Fame person as well. Uh, the favorites to win the NL pennant is the Dodgers, Kenny, plus 160, followed by the Braves at plus 600, and the defending World Series champion Nationals at plus 700. Todd, who do you like to win the National League? You know, leave it to Kenny to butter up the host to try and get more airtime here, making a strong case for the Cleveland Indians. I see how things work around these parts. I'm not numb to that fact. Uh, I'm going to go with the Philadelphia Phillies out of the National League. When I look at this team, I think Aaron Nola, a bona fide number one atop the rotation. I like the fact that they went out and got Zach Wheeler to add him as a number two. And you have a couple of young arms behind them that are going to need to take the next step. Whether it's Nick Pavetta, whether it's Zach Affline, whether it's Vince Velasquez, if he can get his control where it needs to be. I think bringing in Joe Girardi, or no-nonsense manager here, will pay dividends. Also, don't think for a second, and Kenny knows Bryce Harper's mentality better than anybody, that it won't be sitting in Bryce's craw the entire offseason knowing the year he left the Washington Nationals is the year they brought the World Series trophy back to the nation's capital. I think this team is scary good offensively, and when you look at the National League East, I really believe they can be the team to beat. And with a break here or there, I'm more than happy to take 12-1 to 1 on them to win the National League pennant. Yeah, no, no doubt it's going to be a great year. National League, I think all three divisions are very tough, top to bottom. I'm going to go from uh, another Ohio team, Akeem. I think the Cincinnati Reds at 12-1, to 1, so they supply a ton of value to win the National League short season. That pitching staff, Bauer, Castillo, and Gray, I'll put those three guys up against anybody. The only thing I don't like, there's no lefty in there. They did get Wade Miley, so they'll throw him in the staff. But adding Moustakis and Cast Castellanos to the lineup with Shogo, 
Uh, this Reds lineup is going to be dynamic. I think they're going to be a lot of fun to watch. The pitching rotation going to win a lot of games. 12-1, to 1, I'll take the Reds. Yeah, I, I like that you brought up the Reds, Kenny, because they, they have a chance to be sneaky good uh, in the NL Central. We'll see how that plays out. But, yeah, those are certainly uh, some great signings for the Cincinnati Reds in uh, Moustakis and Castellanos. The favorites to win the World Series are the Yankees, of course, at plus 380, followed by the Dodgers at plus 400. Todd, you're picking the Yankees to win the American League. Are you picking the pinstripes to win their 28th World Series title? You know I am. I think this is an organization who we're all going to make cases for long shots. And I think you have to because we're going to have some surprises in this season. If a favorite gets off to a slow start, it's going to open the door for a number of teams. But the Yankees would have been at a disadvantage if the season started on time. I think with this lineup potentially being healthy right out of the gate, the pitching staff will be intact. And this team playing with a bit of a chip on its shoulder, maybe amid all the allegations of sign stealing and everything else, we saw what it did for the Astros. I just feel the Yankees have the most complete roster top to bottom. And the one piece they were missing last year was the ace in Garrett Cole that could go out there and start games one, game four, and potentially game seven in a prolonged series. Uh, I know it's not exactly the smart thing to do to lock up money on a favorite right now. And I'd honestly probably wait before I actually went to the futures market and bet the Yankees. But I think they ultimately win the World Series. Yeah, you know, over 60 games, th this season is going to be so competitive. Uh, teams are going to have a chance the entire time. Uh, they, they know. Uh, most teams, you, you see how well they play early on, and then they start to fade. I don't think there's any fading here in 2020 for this 60-game schedule because you're always going to have a chance, and I think that you're going to have to look for long shots. As I said, I think the Yankees win the most games in the American League, 37 and a half. But I don't have a team winning more than 40, and I don't have anybody winning less than 20. I'd like to have that parlay. The team I think with the best value to win it all, the Angels at 30-1. to 1. That lineup I talked about is amazing. I think those three hitters you can put up against anybody. I love the additions of the pitching staff. Julio Tarani 29 years old, Tehran, 29. He's in his prime. I think he pitches great in this park. Uh, Dylan Bundy, another fabulous pickup by the Angels. Dad with Haney, Canning, and Otani will be back. Shohei, back in the rotation. They'll use a six-man rotation as well. The Angels will be dangerous with Joe Madden. Joe Madden, he, he's amazing. He just gets the best players everywhere he goes. How pumped up is Kenny White for opening day? I love it. <laughs> Let's go. Kenny White, Todd Furman, two of the best in the business. Man, that was fun. No, that, that was a lot of fun. All right, take a screenshot of this. Here's a look at our futures uh, recap. Todd likes Tampa Bay in the American League East. Uh, Kenny likes the Angels to win the AL West. That's his best division wager. Uh, and he really likes the Angels to win the World Series at plus 3,000. Todd likes the Yankees to win the American League and then go on to win the World Series. But, hey, I got to give it up for Kenny, my guy, picking the Cleveland Indians to win the American League. We'll have to see. Opening day, four weeks away. Want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.